and Sean Clemens will not get out of jail before going on trial. This is new video of him today inside Trumbull County Court. He, of course, is accused in the brutal murder of Jane LaRue Brown. Today we got a hold of the court papers filed against Clemens, and the details are disturbing. 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti also talked with police and prosecutors who revealed what happened hours after the victim's death that led them straight to Clemens. It's our top story tonight at 6. Even before he was led into court this afternoon, Trumbull County prosecutors say Sean Clemens told a co-worker he was likely to spend the rest of his life in prison. The state of Ohio versus Sean Michael Clemens, uh, we're here today for an initial appearance. Clemens is now facing aggravated murder, robbery and burglary charges in the beating and stabbing death of 84-year-old Jane LaRue Brown, who had lived right across the street from Clemens Churchill Road home. In papers filed late this morning, Clements, who was arrested yesterday, made statements earlier in the day about beating the victim and cutting her throat. The witness told Liberty Police Clemens made the admission as the pair was driving to a methadone clinic where the suspect received a treatment. During the conversation, the co-worker says Clemens even asked him to pinky swear and promised not to tell anyone. I'm going to set no bond in this case will be held at that bond. After the victim was discovered yesterday, police canvassed the neighborhood, and one officer found blood on a back porch door of Clemens' house. After obtaining a search warrant, detectives recovered a flat screen TV and other items with blood on them. Authorities say the suspect later confessed to taking them. But they also found a ripped portion of a $10 bill in Clemens' house that matched a piece found in the victim's home. Liberty Police, along with the Trumbull County Drug, or I'm sorry, the Trumbull County Homicide Task Force, as well as uh, BCI, did an excellent job. At this point, prosecutors are still not talking about a motive in the case. It's expected they will present their evidence directly to a grand jury next week for indictment. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.